So OnePlus just released their first Android 7.0 Nougat update for the OnePlus 3. I know a lot of people have their OnePlus 3 rooted, plus they don't want to wait for an over-the-air update because they are taking their time with this over-the-air update. So today I want to show you how to manually install the Oxygen OS 4.0 update on your OnePlus 3 while it is rooted. Now to install it this way you will have to have the bootloader unlocked and you will have to have TWRP installed. You don't have to have root but it doesn't matter if you do have root. What we're basically going to do is what is known as a dirty flash, which means we're just installing this update on top of our current firmware. And this means that we keep all of the data that we have on our phone. So as long as everything goes smoothly, you're not going to lose any data here. Beforehand, you're going to need to download a modified version of TWRP, and it's going to need to be on the phone. You should also go ahead and have a certain version of SuperSU on the phone. And you're going to need to download the 1.4 gigabyte full ROM for Oxygen OS 4.0, and you're going to need to have that on the phone as well. You can find links to all of these downloads, as well as a step-by-step -step process for how to do all of this, including how to do certain steps, like booting into recovery mode and fast boot mode, all in the full tutorial that will be linked in the, in the description below this video. So once you have the TWRP you have the 1.4 gigabyte update and super SU assuming you want your device rooted we're just going to reboot the one plus three into recovery mode now I did these steps over the weekend so I'm not going to technically be doing this but I will walk you through the process And again, the full tutorial on my website will be walking you through each of these steps for those who are unfamiliar with how to install TWRP in the first place, how to update TWRP, all of that. So once we are in TWRP, you're going to need to you should definitely go ahead and create a backup and again those steps will be included in the full tutorial so then we're just going to tap on the install button and then we need to tap on the install image and then we're going to tap on the modified TWRP image you want to select recovery and then you'll swipe the white arrows to the right to install that modified TWRP. I tried to do this on stock TWRP, but it wouldn't work for some reason. It said the image was made for the OnePlus 3, but I have the OnePlus 3. But whenever I switched over to the modified version of TWRP, it installed just fine. Once that's done installing, you can tap the home button, tap reboot, and then tap on recovery. And then your phone will reboot and then you'll boot back into TWRP and it will be this modified version of TWRP. Once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and tap on the install button again. 
and if you're not in the download directory you just want to browse to the download directory or whichever folder you put the 1.4 gigabyte ROM and your super su zip in this example I'm installing the SR1 version of 2.79 so we just need to tap on the full 1.4 gigabyte ROM for Oxygen OS 4.0 and this again this will be linked in the full tutorial it says OTA in the file name but the actual OTA file is only like I think it's 800 megabytes or 900 megabytes you'll know you have the full ROM by its size because this one is 1.4 gigabytes so once you tap on that Oxygen OS zip file you just want to tap on the add more zips and then we'll tap on the super SU And then once that's done, you'll just swipe the white arrows to the right. That will install the Oxygen OS update, the 4.0 update first. And then it will install the Super SU so that your device will be rooted again. Once both of those are done, you'll get a button here at the bottom right that says Reboot System Now you just want to tap on reboot system now which is the same thing as me tapping on reboot and then system and since this is our first boot into a brand new update it will take some time but also since it is uh, the first time super su has been installed on that rom you're going to get a second boot up here you're going to be asked to input your pin pattern or password if you have selected it and then you'll see the phone reboot and you'll see this message at the end of the super su install too that tells you it will seem like the phone is boot looping but it's actually not once that boots up again you'll be asked to input your pin pattern or password a second time and then that time it will continue booting up into android just like it is right now and again since we're installing it this way it's not going to um, wipe any of your data at least it shouldn't and if it does if there's any issues with force closing or anything like that you can boot up back into TWRP and then do a restore on the um, the backup that you had just recreated and again like I said I did this over the weekend these are the exact steps I followed you can see I'm on oxygen OS 4.0 now and that is Android version 7.0 so that is how to install the latest version of oxygen OS onto your OnePlus 3 while you are rooted and without losing any data.